I'm a lifelong learner, and I hope you are too. I'm Dr. Jim, and that's my topic today. The importance of lifelong learning, but particularly in healthcare. The healthcare system is constantly changing. The United States population is becoming more diverse. Regulations will play a significant role in many changes that occur in healthcare and medicine. Maintaining competence in required knowledge and skills for practice, advocacy, and research, those are just a must. We have to be on top of our game in healthcare and in medicine. So, how does today's super busy, overwhelmed, looking for new hires, working short healthcare professional? Stay on top of all of these changes. Lifelong learning. So, changes are going to take place in almost every nook and cranny of healthcare. And healthcare professionals need to remain informed, flexible, and resilient to adapt to all of these changes. Lifelong learning general, generally refers to an attitude and a commitment to take actions you need to that are necessary to continually learn throughout your professional career. Now, there are multiple modes, okay? You can go back to school, you could go online, you can attend or take online continuing education. Most of you have to if you're licensed. But you can also be less structured in your attempts to lifelong learn such as keeping up with news and trends in your specialty area and joining various professional groups. Why is lifelong learning, particularly in healthcare, so important? Well, it's valuable for you because it helps you to learn new skills. It validates your practice and your competence. It keeps you current in your profession. It deepens your knowledge base. It increases your level of engagement as well as other employees around you. It expands your career options. You're on top of your game. You're very valuable. It integrates knowledge, performance, competence, and judgment. It generates professional, I hope, it generates professional satisfaction. The more I learn, the more satisfied I am. And sometimes the more terrified I am. And it can also help to prevent burnout. Because you know it, you're prepared, you're confident. So it's also vital, not just for you, but for the organization you work with. It can create more responsible professionals. Deliver safe, competent, and effective care. Reduce gaps in care and service. Reduce costs that occur because of medical errors and mistakes. Those can be more than costly. And ultimately, you want to improve patient outcomes. Okay? So what kinds of changes are taking place that we have to stay on top of? Well, there's a strong move to holistic care. How much do you know about that? Advancing science of medicine, technological changes, protecting private data, regulatory changes, as they're going to take place over and over again, healthcare delivery from the hospital, traditionally speaking, to outpatient settings, patient-centered, person-centered care, a rapidly aging population, a diverse population, fierce competition, continuing medical and health specialization, mergers and acquisitions, virtual medicine, evolving needs of today's patient, pharmaceuticals, and drug crises. And it goes on and on and on. For instance, how do you look at the people you take care of? Are they patients? Residents, clients, or consumers. Families. 
you don't want to run into a situation where a family member knows more than you do about a particular condition or procedure. Everybody has the internet, but that doesn't make them an expert, okay? Leaders, I'm talking to you. You need to be competent. You need to be highly skilled. And you have to build a team with those qualities to surround you in order to be successful. You have to understand changes that are taking place in healthcare. You have to stay on top of current and emerging trends because everything's changing. Be able to solve problems and make better decisions and fester. And continually learn about new technology. Technology, you know, back in the back in the day, whenever that was, years ago, 5, 10, 15 years ago, we used to say all the technology we have on the planet Earth, you know, satellite, digital, internet, nano now, blah, 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 um, fusing biology with technology. We used to say, you know, those types of technologies double every few years. And then we started to say, no, 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 no. Technology is coming at us at the speed of light. Technology on the planet Earth is doubling every year. The last I read, all the technology we have on this planet, drones, self-driving vehicles, robots, you name it. The sophisticated level of that technology is now doubling every 76 days. That's a lot of stuff to learn. That's why lifelong learning should be on the number one thing on your checklist as a healthcare or a medical professional. So thank you for spending time with me. I'm Dr. Jim. Please keep coming back because I always have something to say. Thank you so much for taking some time to watch the video. I appreciate it. And if you're a licensed healthcare professional who's looking for some great continuing education, we've got it. And we are always working on brand new, fresh content for you. So you can find the link to the website in the description and keep coming back for more information. I hope to see you soon.